Yeah, I mean, obviously, we've been talking a lot about DeAndre, and and we're getting near to the point where DeAndre is going to be playing his last few games in the regular season for the Tigers in a Tiger uniform. And a question was uh, was was asked was was positioned to Penny over at the post game against Temple um, about DeAndre Williams's uh, his overall status as an all time great Tiger, and I wanted to play a little bit of the of, of the sound from uh, the press conference and then get y'all's thoughts on the other side. And is he going to, I mean, obviously he's got a few games left here and hopefully an NCAA tournament run, but you're honoring, you know, Ronnie Robinson and great Tigers. Is he going to go down as, as, you know, as, as one of the really splendid Tigers who's played? He should. He should. And we've had some great Tigers here, but you can put DeAndre up there with the, with the best of them when it comes to numbers, when it comes to productivity, when it comes to being a total team guy. No, I, I completely agree with that. Like I and and you know, he's been a three year guy, but when you look at him on the floor versus off the floor the past three years, it's seemingly they can lose any game when he's off the floor. And and I don't have the exact numbers in front of me, although I know, you know, based on the past and how we've talked about it, it's it's a good number of wins versus losses when he's on versus when he's off. Um so I, I uh I, I tend to agree with this sentiment, and, and he's bought into the point where it's like when he came over um, from Evansville, there was a little bit of talk about him potentially trying to test the NBA waters, go that route. Right. And he's stayed at Memphis this entire time, even though he, you know, there's probably some overseas looks he could have had. He's graduated. There's a lot of different things he could have done at this point. And he really has bought into this this. Uh, this program yeah. and, and tried to take it to, to heights it hadn't seen in a while. And they've obviously got to the tournament. He's been a big part of that. And this year, the the leadership he's shown and sort of the tone setting he's done for a team that's not used to being in this program, I thought was massive. It has been massive. Yeah, I, I'm totally with you on this one. I, I, I agree. And I think if Memphis would have had some better teams in this time, uh, and not that they've been bad. They've been solid every year DeAndre's been here. But if they would have been, you know, round of 32, sweet 16 teams, uh, winning winning the conference and things like that, DeAndre would be mentioned much more often in that upper echelon. Because that's that's what people base that, – that, that, that gets based more on players than actually numbers, right, is wins. And, you know, what did the team do – while that person was here because typically the people that are talked about is the best player or two from the best teams. Yeah. Uh, and, and so I think that has led to a little bit more of people not talking about him in the same breath as other great Tigers as much so. But like Penny's saying, if you look at the numbers, his numbers are ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's not just the numbers, though, right? Right, like that, absolutely. It's, it's beyond that absolutely. with him. Like, just the, the, the tone setter he is, the, the leadership he's shown. And we know that even though he's 26, he tends he could foul out and he yeah. has issues there. Um, but, but that, to me, almost trumps even the numbers. And the numbers are great. And, I, I mean, this year especially, I, I don't think there's any doubt when you look at the conference as a whole, he's the most important big to his team in the conference. It's Bar not, none. It's not close. No. And, like, you can't replace what he gives to a lineup. No. If he if he's injured, you feel so much worse about where this team is at. And I know you could say that for Kendrick Davis as well, but this this guy right here, I think he needs to be mentioned among the best Tigers. Yeah, and, and this sounds like such an easy point to make, but he stuck here. Yeah. And you said you said it in like a in, in a professional sense, but you think plenty of big time teams wouldn't have wanted DeAndre right. Williams on their team? with the numbers that he puts up and with what he offers in the front court? Absolutely. And not only has he stuck with this team, but he's stuck with it in so many different waves of this team. Yeah. Because, you ha- you know, the teams that he's played on have been primarily younger guys. And that's got to be frustrating for, for a guy that's a veteran to be like, you know, he's obviously has one clear path and one clear vision, especially with him being in college, you know, for so long up to this point. He has one thing in mind, and that's winning. And some of these younger guys – we know sometimes they're only worried about stats and getting to the NBA quickly. So he's dealt with that, especially last year with how much drama was around the program last year, and stuck and is now on a veteran-laden team where he's able to shine even more so because I feel like this team has such a, 
a common mindset right. and common goal. It's it's rare to like I let's rewind it to year one when he missed what twenty games, Kenny, something like that. Twelve, it, it, tw- whatever. It was it was First, double digits. He ended up missing a lot. Games. Twelve, 12 games. games. Sorry, twenty was too much. But he missed twelve games. And when he got in there, it was immediate impact. Yep. Okay. Usually you see like a guy who's going to have that type of quality to him where he, he sets the tone. You, you see him sort of maybe have run-ins with teammates, maybe have issues. He's yep. never had any of those. And like the, the last part of what Penny said, talking about a team guy, like as much as we don't necessarily get that pull behind the curtain all the time, it's very clear that that's what DeAndre is. And he doesn't, you know, sometimes he can be demonstrative. Sometimes he can foul out of games and do some dumb things. I think he's limited it this year a little bit more yeah. than usual because, and also he has to play a bigger role. But, I mean, through three years, he has literally done nothing but try to serve the program. Like, and I, and I'm, I know that sounds a little bit corny. Right. But, but it's that's true. the truth of it. Like, yeah. he has done nothing but grind each day. If he's if he's injured, he tries to get off the shelf really quick. Like he has, ever, I mean, he's always been. It, you've been able to count on him from day one. He yeah. put the uniform on. Yeah, and that's rare to me. Yeah, and last point I'll make on it before we move on, Kenny. Um, I forgot my point, but I think I got it back. Maybe. Oh uh, yeah, I got it. You pull. Your pull by the curtain got me, and I was trying to hang yeah. on to it and lost it. Um. So we can't see behind the curtain, so we don't know exactly what goes on, you know, in practices and stuff like that. And all we can kind of take from is what we hear in press conferences and, and what we see in games and stuff like that. So I don't know this for a fact by any means, but it seems like as far as players go on this team and throughout DeAndre's tenure here, that no one has cared more about this team than DeAndre. Right. And, and it, like I said, that seems pretty obvious from watching games and hearing the way he talks about it. We can't you can't say that 100%. But it doesn't look like there's been a lot of BS, right? He's had a lot. He's had to deal with a fair like him getting cleared his first year, last year being nine and eight at one point. People yelling at him about foul outs. He's gone through a a fair amount of stuff, like, and that that comes with this market and and how uh, serious Tiger fans are about their their basketball. But he's he's dealt the up dealt with the ups dealt with the downs really well. And there's a lot of guys that could fold. There's a lot of guys that would not produce at the level he has yep 